Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. And today, what we're going to do is download and install Golang on our Ubuntu machine, as well as set up the Golang development environment on VS Code so that we can run Golang programs straight from VS Code. Okay, so let's get started. I am at this web page called Golangs dot org slash doc slash install and this gives me the download as well as install instructions for golang the first thing that i will need to do is hit this big button which says download go for linux i click this and i can see that my download has started it will take around 20 seconds and i'll pause the video till the download is complete so as you can see the download is complete and this is a tar dot gz file which means I will have to extract the contents of this file and the instructions for the same are given here. Let me bring up a terminal and I am in my downloads directory. The command that I need to run here is this one, which is simply extracting the contents of this file. So let me just simply copy it from here and paste it. Uh, so as you can see, I have the tar.gz file right here. Let me extract the contents of this file. And what minus C uh, signifies here is that we first change our present working directory to this directory and then we extract minus XZF extract Golang. Oh, okay, uh, I missed sudo out here because this is slash USR slash local. So I say sudo and the extraction is complete. Okay, cool. Uh, so now um, our Golang is installed, but our terminal does not know that our Golang is in our system. So uh, to make the terminal know that we have Golang binaries, uh, what we'll do is simply add the part to our Golang binaries to our path variable. And well, here you go. So if I say go version, well, I can see that uh, my system now has Go version 1.15.3. Next, what I'll do, guys, is just to uh, verify it once more. I will run this very simple program so that I can be sure that Go code runs on my system. For that, let me come back to my downloads directory and I say vim, let's say hello.go. And I simply copy the content from here and paste it here. And then I just save this file and exit. If I say go run hello.go, well, I can see hello world written here, which means that go is successfully installed and running on our Ubuntu machine. So before proceeding any further, there is something uh, very important that we uh, need to do here. We need to add this particular line that we just ran on the terminal into one of these files, which is $home.profile or slash etc slash profile, so that we don't have to run this command explicitly every time we start a new terminal. So to do that, I would simply say vim $home forward slash dot profile. I hit enter, I go to the end of the file and I simply paste this line. And then I save and exit. Okay, so uh, I'll simply source the same file that I just edited. Yeah, and that should add the part to the Golang binaries to the path variable. So if I echo dollar path, well, I can see that the part to the Go binaries is right here. So Golang is up and running in our system, but we also want to configure Visual Studio Code so that we have a good coding experience with the uh, Golang. Uh, here, as you can see that uh, I have the same uh, program open. Uh, suppose if I say uh, fmt dot uh, print, uh, it just shows me println, but there are uh, many functions out here like uh, printf and so on which it, it does not show me. So it doesn't really have those ID like capabilities uh, as of now. So um, for that, I have to install certain extensions. To do that, uh, we have this uh, button on the left sidebar. Uh, it says extensions. I click on this and I look for Go. 
Okay, so rich uh, Go language support for Visual Studio Code, and uh, this is made by the Go team at Google. I click on install, and the next thing I do is I hit uh, Control Shift and P, and then uh, okay, I have this option Go install slash update tools. If you are not seeing it, you can just type Go install uh, slash update, and uh, it will do the same thing for you. Uh, I hit enter. And uh, then these are all the packages uh, that you might want to install. So they have linters, formatters, um, go tests for uh, unit tests, uh, auto completion, and so on. So I'll I'll select all of them. They are seventeen number. I select them and click OK. And here I see. And here I can see that the packages are getting installed one by one this I am now going to pause the video till the packages are completely installed okay guys so it says that all tools are installed you are ready to go I head back to my go program and suppose I say this time fmt dot so you can see how many options it gives me I just say fmt dot and I get to see so many auto suggestion options um, and suppose I want to see the definition of this function what does it do and uh, I want to see the implementation i can go there and see it and this makes visual studio code absolutely ready to help us develop and run go programs so to be able to run this program we again want to head to our terminal so for that let me quickly hit Control and tilt which opens my terminal i go to the downloads directory where i made this program originally and again i say go run hello.go and yes the program runs and our go installation and all the setup that we wanted to do on vs code to be able to run go programs is done so what other ideas do you guys use for running golang programs do tell me in the comments below and this will be it for this video if you like the video do hit the like button and if you like the content of my channel please hit subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching.